Hi guys! This is the Simon Expert channel and today we have a task from Pamela from USA. So, a bullet weighing 0.024 kilos is shot vertically with a speed 225 meters per second at a baseball weighing 0.15 kilos that remains in rest initially. How high can the combination of a baseball with a bullet rise after the collision if the bullet embeds inside of the ball? So, when the bullet hits the baseball, there is a transfer of momentum. Therefore, the system of a ball with a bullet inside of it obtains speed and therefore kinetic energy, which allows the system to move above the initial position. Alright, so when the bullet hits the ball, there is a conservation of momentum. So, uh, the speed of the bullet times the initial speed is equal to the sum of the masses of ball with bullet times the speed after the collision. Now let's make this V0 because it was the initial speed. And from here we can derive the final speed of the system. It is equal to mb times v0 over mb plus m double b. Okay, now when the system of a ball with a bullet inside of it starts moving, there is a conservation of momentum. The kinetic energy of this system transforms to the potential energy when the system reaches the highest point. So, the change of the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy. And this gives us uh, the following. The kinetic energy is M of the bullet plus M of the baseball times their speed squared over 2. This is our kinetic energy. And the potential energy is the masses of our two objects, bullet and the baseball, times uh, the free fall acceleration, g, times the height. And here we can see that we can cancel out the masses and derive the change of the height. Delta H equals um, V squared over 2 times G. Now we can insert this formula for the speed of the system into the formula of the height and find the change of the height. Alright guys, so here are the formulas that we just found. Now we need to put our speed of the system into the formula for the change of height. So we get the following. The change of height equals mb squared times v0 squared over 2g times mb plus m double b squared. We know all of these values, so now we can find the change of the height. So, the mass of the bullet is 0 0.024 squared. Then we have the initial speed, 225 squared over 2 times the free fall acceleration 9.8 times, again, the mass of the bullet, 0 0.024, plus the mass of the baseball, 0 0.15. And all this gives us the change of the height, which is 49.14 meters. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.